The Comfort Inn of Pittsburgh offers a cozy, welcoming room with free internet access. Enjoy the indoor pool area year-round and wake up to a complimentary breakfast every morning. When staying at the Comfort Inn, you can feel at ease knowing that your satisfaction is the most important thing to us. Overall, I think we played well. Um, it just came down to the basics and technical things of running and executing the offense is what we struggled at a little bit. You're an experienced guy, and I know the receiving core, a lot of focus on, on losing John Brown, but uh, the group of guys you have at receiver? Um, solid. Uh, we have a group of guys that have a lot of playing experience, um, a couple of JUCO um, playing experience, but overall, I think we're pretty solid, and um, we have a lot of weapons. You being a veteran, how do you see your role among that group of guys? Um, I try to just play hard for the guys. Um, not necessarily vocal, but just to actually go out and practice and play hard for them to show them by example. You've been through a lot of knee injuries and having to take a sixth year. Uh, just kind of describe what your, your time here has been like for you. Uh, it's been great. I loved every second of it. Um, that's why I'm here for my you know last semester because um, I love being around the guys. Uh, football's a great game, and I, w I wouldn't choose to do it any other way. Talk about your uh, relationship with Anthony Abano and, and how much you guys have worked together, uh, especially maybe leading into this last year. Yeah, it, um, it's definitely grown because um, being the senior guy, um, wanting to lead those other guys, um, it's it's grown through the summer. Um, meeting in Kansas City, not necessarily being here in Pittsburgh, but meeting in Kansas City on weekends to just work. Um, we put in the time together. So, do you uh, or talk about how you feel? I guess for the potential for this team to have a, a really good year. Um, the potential is always there, but potential is nothing without actions. So um, we just have to come in every day and put in the hard work to hopefully fulfill the potential. And what's it like for you playing a Thursday game that quick turnaround? Um, it's an MI MI double A game, so if you're not excited, um, something's wrong. Um, it's a challenge, and we just have to rise to the occasion. What are some, uh, Dan Hawk with KOA and KFJX, what are some things that you think need to be cleaned up heading into this Lindenwood game with the short week? Um, just, I think with anything with football and uh, people's experience, uh, just get back to the basics, um, being very technical and focusing on details. How is your, how do your receivers different this year without John being the automatic number one target like he was the last couple of years? Um, we all play, we all play our roles. Um, obviously, our role as receivers to get open and catch the ball, um, and I think we have a group that can do that. And with multiple weapons, I think that um, it just gives our quarterback options. I know it's only been one game this year, but is it tougher to get open without people concentrating on John? Um, I, I don't know. I mean, those guys, those guys on the other team are on scholarships too. So, I mean, it's a ch it's a challenge each and every week to go against those the secondaries. Coach uh, Jim Henry from the Globe, you got a quick turnaround this week, and it's on the road and across the state of Missouri. Could the situation be much worse as far as logistics? Well, it's kind of a, it is a tough tough turnaround and a quick turnaround. But uh, this is something that we talked about in uh, camp uh, that we had. Uh, we were going to approach Northeastern State as our first game, and that was the only thing we were going to focus on at some point. But we also talked about the fact that we do have a quick turnaround. Our guys have known it for a while. They knew they were going to have to come in uh, on Sunday and get a few things done right away. So uh, they were all well aware of it. Uh, it was not easy, especially for maybe some of the O-line and D-linemen to, to line up and do middle drill and those kind of things yesterday. But um, we've got to uh, we've got to just – do take take it uh, in stride and, and get ready to go. Thirty seven to nothing. You've got to be pretty pleased with the first game performance. Yeah, no question. You know, offense had a great opening drive. Um, anytime you can take the opening drive and go get points, that's big. And then uh, defense was outstanding all the way through. And so, uh, uh, yeah, we're very excited about how we started. Can you talk a little about the receivers and how it's different without John this year? You know. I, 
different people played us differently last year, so it just kind of depends on the team on how they how they defended us. But uh, you know, a lot of people would say, okay, you've got a guy that just scored a touchdown in the NFL last year. Why didn't you throw the ball to him more? But the bottom line is, we ran our offense last year, and uh, we still did a really good job, I think, of distributing the ball uh, throughout our team and. Uh, Tony did a good job of that last year. So a lot of these guys have a lot of experience and played a lot of snaps. And uh, John was a great player for us. There's no doubt about that. But uh, you know, we we like our receiving core that we have now as well. Uh, you saw the play last night. Is that a play that he took to Arizona, or did you think Arizona already had it? I think they had that play. I don't think they got that from us. But uh, it was a well-designed play, and uh, you know, it was neat to see. You know, it, it was, I think, uh, initially probably try to, you're probably supposed to try to go to the edge with it, but, uh, you know, he may, he saw that the edge was kind of stretched, so he ends up cutting it back inside and making a nice little move and scoring. So it was a great job by him. Talk a little about Lindenwood and what you expect to see. You know, I think um, offensively, I think they're a little bit better than they were last year at the skill positions. Um, and they do a lot of really quick things. They get rid of the ball fast, make it hard to get to the quarterback. Um, you know, defensively, I think they're a different defense, not scheme-wise, but I think they're just different uh, the way they look because of Connor Harris. I mean, he's just that good of a player, and uh, he he really and he's their he's their guy. He's their leader for their team, not only just their defense, but for their team. So he really. Uh, you know, brings a lot to the table for them. And, uh, you know, they've, they've they've got a good defensive line and probably a little bit better linebackers. And uh, and then they did lose a good player in the secondary, as we all know. But um, they're, they're just a good, solid team. Did their victory, was that the biggest surprise to you last weekend? Um, no, not necessarily. I thought, you know, there was two or three surprises, I thought. But... Uh, you know, it, it, sometimes it's it's kind of what we talk about with our players. It's the old 21 point rule, and it's hard to get a feel by just watching video as much. But you know, when Washburn gets up 17 to nothing, it's almost like they relaxed a little bit, and and then the next thing you know, they're in a dog fight, and it can go either way. So that's that's what college football is like, though. Both have a KOM, Dan Hawk KOM, KFJ. Both have a short week. With, with this game, is there any other thing that surprises you about what they bring to the table? Um, you know, uh, they have a receiver, and he's a kick return or punt return number three that uh, we'll definitely have to be aware of. You know, he's uh, every once in a while they line him up in the backfield, throw the ball to him out of the backfield. Um, he's only he's only listed at five eight, hundred fifty pounds, but he is fast, and so. We, we definitely need to be aware of him. But uh, everything else is, I mean, the same scheme defensively, a lot of the same things offensively. Um, but, the, you know, I think they're uh, doing it with a little bit better players than they had a year ago. Hey, Jim Henry from the Joplin Globe. How tough is this short turnaround for a defensive lineman? Um, it's, really, it's, really, it's not that tough, but it's tough because we got to cram a whole bunch of new things to get ready for this team on Thursday. But we cramped a lot of things in in the last past two days, but it ain't nothing that we can't handle. You got to face adversity to be one of the best, so it ain't nothing we can handle. Dan Hawk from KOA and KFJX. Uh, what are you seeing out of this offense that could give you some havoc? Uh, we seeing a lot of screen passes, a lot of quick passes. They trying to eliminate the defensive line. Like from the from the jump, they're trying to just get rid of us, trying not to make us a big part of the game. So they're doing a lot of quick and a lot of screens and a lot of stuff to just throw us off. They ain't doing a lot of runs, but it's something we got to adjust to. So it's going to be a good game. They went on the road and upset Washburn, and now they come back home for their home opener. So they're going to be pretty uh, excited to take on you guys. Yeah. What's the aspect going in for this game? <sighs> just, just go in and try to do one play at a time. Just go in, everybody doing their job. And we all come together as one, we will come out that thing successful. Uh, hey, Dre, uh, KSN. What did you like out of your guys' first performance on the D line uh, last Saturday? Oh, everything. It's, it's some things we got to work on. We got to stay low a little bit. But as a whole, we, we did good to get a, 
a goose egg the first the first game that's that's outstanding they just let us know we real confident in ourselves to give us a more boost coming in this week and just let us know that we got a good shot at any team in the league this year so it's going to be good it's going to be a good game thursday and i guess um you watched the game last night, and what did you think of uh, John's performance? Oh, everything. I was watching it. It was it was it was real live. I was live. I wrote him, I wrote him on Twitter like three four times, and so I was. It was a good thing to see. It's a good thing to see somebody from Pittsburgh State just putting on for the school and the city. It's just it's just great. The Holiday Inn Express of Pittsburgh has flexible meeting spaces, complimentary internet access, a free hot breakfast bar in the morning, and an indoor pool that the whole family will enjoy. Come book a room at the newest hotel in Pittsburgh, the Holiday Inn Express.